In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between being an engineer and being a manager. The skills that are required for each are different. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the difference between an engineer and a manager. This video is brought to you by Engineering PDH Courses, your online source for continuing education for professional engineers. So let's discuss the difference between being an engineer and a manager. When you first started off in college, wanting to become an engineer, you spent several years there, some four years, some five years, and some even longer, just to get their undergraduate degree. Once you have your undergraduate degree, the next decision is to whether to go to work in the industry or to maybe stay a little longer and get your graduate degree, such as your Master's of Science in Engineering, or even going further to get your PhD, your doctorate. But once you have your degrees, the next choice is to go to work. Now, for some engineers, they go directly into engineering teams and start working in those teams designing. Other engineers take a little longer route. And sometimes that longer route is actually much better than going directly into a design team. In construction and in civil engineering, often the best engineers are those who have worked in the construction field first, working out on surveying teams, working with contractors doing pouring concrete, doing slabs, doing uh, lifts, pouring curbs, pouring roads, all these different jobs in the field. Then they get convert from that and come back into the office. Once they're in the office and working in the design teams, then they're on what we call CAD machines, computer-aided drafting machines. Here, you're drawing the plans that the contractors use to actually build the project. If you have the prior experience in the field and have seen uh, these plans, you'll know what's, what's important to have on the plans and what's not so important. This will help you immensely on a design team on how to actually draw a set of plans so the people in the field will understand them and build according to the plans. Once you've worked on a design team for several years and have gained experience drawing different types of projects uh, from transportation, traffic, to uh, pipes, to storm drain systems, water, sewer, even to drawing grading plans, uh, site plans, tentative maps, all the different types of plans that engineers draw. Then you move up into the more upper echelons of the design team, which are your designers. And eventually you move into uh, the actual engineer on the team. Engineers that have enough experience, they will become what we call project engineers. The project engineer is the leader of the design team. And their job is to help all the members of the team to be trained properly to do their jobs and to distribute the work to the key individuals to work on the designs. Their main task is to finish that job in a timely manner and as cheaply as possible and yet give a high quality product. Now the question comes after several years of being a project engineer, I, I did say <laughs> several years, um, whether you should take your PE license or not. In most states, the requirement for become a professional engineer is that you have a college degree in engineering and that you take the professional engineering uh, exam and pass. Once you've done that, also to have worked under a professional engineer for at least four years. So you can see the length of time from the time you finish college before you can become a professional engineer. It could be four to six years later. So now you've add that plus college. It's a long time to become a professional engineer. As a professional engineer, you are licensed by the state to look out for the health of the public, the safety of the public. You are the person that is responsible for those designs. And usually the professional engineer becomes that project engineer. They sign all the plans that the team completes and sends out to the public. They are also the ones who sign the reports and stamp those reports. They take personal liability on those designs. As a professional engineer, you understand the uh, all the engineering 
behind those designs. And that's what that stamp means. You take responsibility for it. After several years working as a professional engineer or project engineer, you may be approached to become the project manager. The step from project engineer to project manager can be a pretty big step, <laughs> and it requires completely different skills than a project engineer or professional engineer. A project manager is not so much on the technical side anymore. Their job is the business of engineering. They look at the financials, making sure that they're bringing enough work in to support the team and maintain the team, to pay their salaries, to pay the overhead, to pay the rent, the insurance, the taxes, everything else that's required to run a business. They also are responsible for the clients, to, uh, not only to maintain the current clients, but also to find new clients. So that way new work is coming in and, it's, uh, and the team continues to grow. And you can grow additional teams if you have enough work for that. Uh, they're also responsible to the upper management, uh, the CEOs and CFOs of the corporation if they work in a large enough firm. So they, they look not only to the uh, people above them, they also look to their clients, and they look to the teams below them. Project managers do not necessarily have one team below them. They may have two or three or even more teams that work directly underneath them. Another task that the project manager does is that they also have uh, responsibility to the timelines. They make sure that the work is done on time. And so they look at certain milestones along the path of the project. As long as the team is meeting those milestones, then that means they will finish the project on time or before. It's never good to be longer than the timelines, and it's never good to spend more <laughs> than the budget. So those are their two concerns, are budgets and timelines. But they also look to maintain relationship with the clients. As you notice, none of that is engineering. And so when you're a project engineer, a professional engineer, when someone asks you to become the project manager of the team, you have a big decision to make. Many engineers like just that, to being engineers. And they really don't want to take on the management side. They understand all the engineering. They're able to do that work. They're comfortable in it. Uh, it gives them enough interest and enough excitement just to do the engineering aspect of any project. Other people, though, may want a little more. They want to have the bigger responsibility. And that's why project managers are paid a little bit more than project engineers. You're taking on a bigger responsibility that, to that team, but also to the clients and to upper management. So when you're making that decision, whether to stay as a project engineer or to move to a be project manager, understand the difference between the two. Project engineers, yes, you're leading teams and you're making sure that uh, everyone's staying busy, but you're mostly, uh, mostly involved with the technical aspect of the project. 75% of your day is in engineering, maybe 25% in a little bit of HR. <laughs> As a project manager, very little in the technical part, the engineering. Maybe 10% of your day is spent in engineering. And that's only to listen to the engineers as, uh, as they come to you with their ideas and suggestions. You let them solve those problems, but you do not necessarily do any engineering work. Almost 90% of your day is in the management of those teams and your clients and the people above you. So that's the difference between a project engineer and project manager. If you like what you've been seeing, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that like button down there. It helps uh, for our videos to rank a little higher. Also, there's a, a free uh, download you can uh, get that will help you to see the health of your business. Uh, especially for you who want to be a manager. These are some of the things you have to look at in those questions. And also in the corner, you'll find uh, our next video that uh, we have available that you may want to watch on the uh, project management and project engineers, and especially being a professional engineer in our industry. Talk to you later.